Okay, last leaders of LN2 got new pipe pass top score 19.67, previous top score 19.73 by tag from Austria. A bit higher CPU frequency, so pretty good. 11703. Top score on this one. Eleven seven oh three. Not exact. Eleven seven oh three. We got the 1M, close, but we got it, damn awesome. Okay, first attempt failed, that's the new Superpipe 32 m top score of the E2180 at 9 minutes 37.46A, previous top score by TAG from Austria, 9 minutes 41.359, so like 4 second gain or so, a bit higher CPU frequency here, but damn awesome, now I got everything once again. A bit better. Nineteen sixty three. Five one. That's enormous. Eleven four, eleven four eight four. Maybe five two forty, five two three three is top score. Maybe. And okay, these E twenty one eighty runs were kind of the last desperation, as I didn't get so successful with the last CPUs I wanted to run and I only had like seven or eight liters of LN2 remaining so I wanted to do something. I tested a few E2140s, none of them were good enough for LN2. This E2180 I recently purchased a few dozen of these along with other CPUs, I just tested them very very quickly 
or based only on FSB. I found one, so this one what that was definitely good based on FSB, so I just went straight on on LN2 without testing the core on ambient cooling as I did in buffer because I had only so little LN2 remaining and it did awesome. So uh, the remaining top scores, so PyFast, I think the best one was 19.63. 1M, the best run was a whopping 11.4A4, I think. That's like over 200 milliseconds faster than TAG from Austria. And 32M was the hardest one. I failed the first attempt. The second one went all right. 9 minutes, 37 point something. So like four second improvement over the previous top score made by TAG from Austria. We, we actually used to battle with the E2180 with TAG one or two years ago when he took down my previous scores as I used to have all of these except the validation and I think 1M. 1M was by Michel 90 but I got the validation as well which I didn't expect at all so 5.24 and even 5.3 was almost booting to the OS so I'm sure 5.3 is possible and once again really weird behavior first I tried to move the uh, clock from 5.0 something to 5.2 it failed straight away so I had the best success once again just posting and booting the target frequency from the BIOS, go to Windows and just open CPU Z and press F7. Really weird. With some CPUs this seems to work all right, with some CPUs definitely not. But yeah, definitely awesome. But I don't know why my W prime efficiency lags so much behind what, what it used to be, because I'm using the same OS. So that's definitely something I need to figure or work on because I used to have amazing efficiency on W Prime. I really worked a lot on that benchmark. But yeah, all of these top scores will be on hardwarebot.org at the time you are watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work. And yeah, thanks for watching some of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.